Now, these tremendous burdens put a terrific strain on you. What was the result? Six months in the hospital with ulcers. Oh, I didn't Stomach know. ulcers. You spent that long in the hospital? Yes. Then you went to Australia? Yes, for two years, because my brother, who is also my doctor, advised me that uh, I needed a period of recovery away, as far as away, from the present pressures. And as the pressures were in Greece, where I was so involved in public life and uh, in the whole effort for reconstruction, I thought that Australia, where I was offered a job, uh, was the more distant place, and uh, a small village out of Brisbane offered to me exactly the place without pressures, mm -hmm. where I recovered fully. And how did you uh, make your living while you were in Australia? That was quite interesting. My two degrees in architecture from Greece and engineering, doctor in engineering from the University of Berlin, were not recognized by the Australian Institute of Architects, so I was not entitled to exercise my profession for which I was invited. I had only one way to go back from where my forefathers came to farming and to start raising tomatoes with the help of my wife. We rented a farm, we started uh, raising uh, small tomato plants uh, in a hot house and then bringing them out and producing tomatoes, which I was four in the morning in the local market of Brisbane by using a truck. So we're very happy there. Well, you've earned your success. Now, we always want to know more about the man behind the blueprints. Will you tell us what your recreations are? What are your hobbies? Mostly swimming and sailing when I can afford it, which is uh, during five or six months of the summer and the spring. During the winter, I have not enough time for organized sports because I travel so much. So I had to select the one which I like, which I can uh, carry out everywhere, and that's walking. I go for long walks. Now, you've told millions of others how to live. Will you tell us how you yourself live? I don't advise anyone to follow my way of life, because at present it is very strenuous. I have to visit my patients. You see, sometimes they call me doctor of cities, but then I remind them that my patients don't come to my hospital. And even if they come, I could not trust the statements. The doctor has to see the patient by himself. So I have to travel in many parts of the world to sit with the people who are the leaders of the cities, to sit with the citizens who are concerned, because we are working for them, try to understand their problems, their desires, their goals, and then start serving, not as their doctor, but as their servant. Because we have only one justification in building cities, that's to satisfy the citizens. And we cannot satisfy them unless we respect their wishes and we explain where these wishes lead. And if they want this type of plan, responding to their wishes, then we are the technicians to provide it and the method for its implementation. In other words, for the good of the world, you have made yourself a nomad. Yes, in some way, only when I am somewhere, I don't feel as a nomad. I like my home, I like my office, I like the place I stay in. So in this sense, I'm not eager to start traveling again as the nomad does. I am eager to stay where I am because I enjoy it. My profession, though, requires me to fly to the next place. Well, at any rate, we know you are a philosopher. Business Week magazine called you a new Greek oracle and quoted you as saying, the planner must master his profession, then rise above it. You certainly have. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. We have been with Dr. Konstantinos Doxiades, the master builder whose vision, translated into solid, scientifically planned projects, is changing the face of the earth. A great philosopher once said that to accomplish anything in the world, one must think like a man of action and act like a man of thought. Doxiades does both. His aim, the human community with man in control, is nothing, nothing less than that of Aristotle, who said, the goal of the city is to make man happy and safe. This is Dina Clark. Thank you for spending this moment with us.